Hello and welcome to Simple Cryptocurrency Demos. My name is Claudio and this is Crypto Exchange, the channel where I do cryptocurrency news reviews, demos, interviews and blockchain games reviews. And in today's tutorial we'll be looking at the Phantom Wallet, which is a cryptocurrency wallet dedicated for the Phantasma blockchain. And if you're new here and you don't know what Phantasma blockchain is all about, a link should pop up right above my head here, right on top of the screen with an interview with one of the Phantasma team members. And there I actually explain and he also talks about it, uh, what is Phantasma all about. So you'll be able to understand more before watching this tutorial in case you don't know what it's about, right? It would make sense just so everything can be better understood when I talk about certain things in this demo. And hey, if you're new here, please make sure to hit that subscribe button and enable notifications to be made aware of when I upload the next video that may interest you. And let's not waste any time and get right in, right? So what is Phantasma Wallet all about? Well, Phantasma Wallet has been created by the two DAP competition winners of the Phantasma competition, which is Vincent and Mar. Now, Vincent does actually also have the Neo Economy website, which is a DAP and a website for the NEO ecosystem and he also works for NEO News Today which is the biggest news website when it comes to NEO News and all the dApps on NEO and of course ICOs and different things that have happened on NEO. And Merle who's actually a NEO name service admin and is also a developer, he knows about blockchain so he's been helping developing this wallet too. And uh, yeah this is pretty much it, they've been doing this uh, as a community thing for the Phantasma blockchain and of course in order to win the DAP competition and they have actually won it they got first prize for this and as you can see the wallet is pretty cool looking I mean you've got this is after logging in with my private key of course or if you don't already have one you can simply create one and uh, here we can see the energy here we can see the soul coin and here we can see the number of soul masters. So I'm gonna go and look at the energy. So energy, which is also, which is KCAL, right? This is what the ticker symbol is called. It's actually the fuel token of the Phantasma blockchain. Whatever transactions you do on the Phantasma blockchain requires KCAL. Now, how do you get KCAL? Well, in order to get KCAL, you can stake it by staking soul. You need to stake soul. So when you stake soul, which is the coin on the, the main coin, on the Phantasma blockchain, you generate KCAL once a day, okay, at a rate of 0.002 per soul. So each soul generates that much KCAL per day. Now, soul masters are actually people that have staked 50,000 soul coins, and once they stake that much, they automatically get the soul master status and what does the soul master status mean it means that you get a share of the 125,000 dedicated soul per month okay split across all the different soul masters so of course there's 190 of them and it actually tells you here you get 658 soul per month and this is the estimated as it stands right this is how much you're gonna get and here we can see the asset right so phantasma stake which is soul and uh, it's on mainnet of course and i've got 2.9 it tells you the usd value this actually hasn't been updated yet so i'm assuming that uh, vincent or merle are going to be updating this with a real value or maybe because it's not one dollar yet maybe you need to have enough to actually show the one dollar value or higher maybe they don't show uh, decimals this is my assumption i don't know that i haven't confirmed it with them and the phantasma energy which i was just telling you about what it is i've got 0 0.45 here and uh, yeah, basically has the portfolio graph here. It tells you how much it's gonna be worth and how much it has been worth for the last three months, one day, one week, and so on and all time. So that's pretty cool that you've got that. The claim rewards button is not clickable because I didn't stake 50,000 and the claim KCAL uh, neither because I haven't staked any soul right now. So we're gonna be doing that in a moment. But there's the send button here, which I've already looked at. But now there's this button here, which is the anonymous button, right? I've got an anonymous wallet at the moment. But if I click on it, it tells me here that I need to insert a name for the address. And this will be unregistered automatically if I unstake all of my soul. Okay, so I can only unstake partially if I want to, right? And this is pretty cool. So let's have a look at the send option here. Let's go to that. Now it is a little bit slow, unfortunately. Now it tells you to select the main chain and it tells you to click next. So you can select the token. I can send out Phantasma Energy or I can send out Soul. So I can send out Phantasma Energy. There is no option to select the max. 
but I'm not sure if I can select 0 0.1 here. Oh, I can, that's perfect. And then I click next. You type in the destination address. Then you select the chain, of course, destination chain. It should be mainnet if you're on mainnet. I guess at some point it's gonna add testnet on there as well. But for now, that's how it is. You enter the address, you do that, and you click send assets, and that's pretty much it. Uh, there's the receive button, of course, if you want to receive soul. Uh, if you want to receive soul again, you will need to have the Phantasma address. So here we go, let's have a look at it. Now it tells me the public Phantasma address, map to anonymous because I'm not registered with any name. Okay, so I can simply copy it here. This is the Phantasma address. And again, you can't see this address because I've mastered. Obviously, I don't want people to know what my address is. But there's the swap address too. So let's go to the swap address. And this is the important part that we're gonna be talking about. Again, I've done tutorials on this, but it was with um, earlier versions. And it was on a SIM net, which is the private network. So things didn't work as well. Now there's the cosmic swap, which isn't available yet. And the chain swap, which is what we're interested in. So how can you actually swap your NEO blockchain SOL token, which is an NEP5 token, to the SOL coin on the Phantasma blockchain? Well, it's pretty straightforward. And as you can see here, Vincent has actually written all the different steps that you need to follow. And this is step one. You need to send NEO a minimum of two or gas or SOL to this address. Okay, this, this address, if you check this address on NEOScan.io, uh, you will actually see that this is a swap address. It contains a lot of soul on there. It contains some NEO and some gas. So what do you do? You send to this address and you also have to sign in with your NEO wallet. Okay, you sign in with your NEO wallet. You enter the NEO, the NEO address here, the NEO private key. Sorry, the NEO private key. And once you get the NEO private key, you check the pending swap. Now you may be asking yourself, how do you get the NEO private key? Well, if you use the O3U desktop wallet, for example, if you go to the settings option in the desktop wallet on O3, you can get the private key from there, which is also known as the WIF, as it says here, WIF in brackets. So you copy that and you paste that across here in the NEO key. Once you do that, you check pending swap. Okay, you go to check pending swap and it's gonna tell you if you have any swaps uh, at the moment in pending mode. So this is pretty straightforward. There's the history option, which shows you all the different transactions you've done. There's the contracts option. Now, Vincent is actually really keen on this one and to develop this one. Uh, so there's the select chain here, which again is only main chain. But here in the select contract option, you can select different things here like validator, governance, consensus, exchange, swap, interoperability, stake. So quite a lot of options here, privacy, friends. Now, unfortunately, these aren't are available yet, but they have been created. They will be available at some point. And Vincent's gonna have a tutorial, probably a written tutorial, in which is gonna explain what each of these options does and how to actually use them as they develop to improve the Phantom Wallet because this is the whole idea of any product is to constantly develop it with new versions and to make it better and better based on what the community also requests because of course if the community would like some specific option and enough people want that option, then they're gonna create it for the community. Now if we go to the settings option here, now, so we've got the network, which is mainnet, and mainnet is the only option you can select. There's the RPC URL. Now, you can't actually edit this, unfortunately. It doesn't let you edit it. So what you have to do is when you download the Phantom Wallet from GitHub, the latest version, it actually gives you some instructions there on how to update the RPC URL. Make sure you follow those instructions to update the data in the file, the link in the file for this RPC URL, which is, stands for Remote Procedure Call. It basically makes calls in order to get information from the blockchain. So you need to make sure you enter the right URL. And once you enter the right URL, which is, should be the same as I've got right here, at least at the time of doing this video, which is 12th of October, 2019. Uh, once you do that in the file, then you need to make sure you close this uh, window that you've got open, that I've got open, for example. Once you close it, then you update it in the file and then you reopen this window because then the address will be updated. Again, you cannot edit the address directly here. Unfortunately, it doesn't allow you to do that. And then there's the Explorer URL, which you can check out basically to see what are the transactions on the Phantasma blockchain at the moment. With currencies, you can select different currency types. There's the dark theme and the light theme. So you can select all that. And then there's of course the logout button, 
Uh, but let's go to the stake option because I know many people are curious about the stake option and hey you probably already tried this but if you haven't you may be interested in how it's done. So I actually have 2.9 souls so I'm gonna stake 2 souls. Let's wait for this to finish loading because I don't want to have uh, any transactions timing out on me. Okay so let's click stake. Stake 2 souls, yes I confirm. So now we need to wait. And the transaction's pending, so that's pretty cool. Now this is the first time I'm doing this with Phantom Wallet, right? I haven't actually done this with Phantom Wallet. Oh, and there we go. See, the stakes option changes to two. I can see how much energy I can accumulate per day. Again, it is 0.002 per soul, but because I've got two souls staked, it's double that amount, right? So 0.004, so that's why. And I've got the claim KCAL button clickable now. It is clickable. Uh, and we can see here that obviously the asset quantity which I can send out is only 0.9 because two have been staked to the smart contract. So I can't actually uh, unstake it unless I do that, right? Unless I click this. Let me click on claim KCAL to see what happens. I don't think I can claim KCAL yet because again, this is per day. Transaction is pending. So I had 0.44739. Let's see if this actually increases. I'm curious. Nothing, nothing yet, nothing yet. Okay, I think it was too early. I don't even know if... Uh... Oh, it did increase. Okay, okay. So yeah, this actually changes with every block, basically. Every block that passes, basically, uh, Phantasma Energy gets accumulated when you stake soul. So that's pretty cool. So it works just like Ontology and Neo. You may kind of say that um, when it comes to staking. Now let's unstake. So let me click on 2 and I want to unstake, unstake 2, yes I confirm. And let's see if that comes through. Transaction rejected, waiting period required to unstake can only be done 24 hours after your last stake. So Phantasma have actually mentioned this, okay? So this is just to reiterate that you cannot do it if you, even if you try to because there is this check in place. So you need to wait 24 hours to unstake. But the difference between Phantasma and Ontology is that with Ontology, if you stake to a node, you need to wait mostly 1.5 weeks, right? One week and a half more or less to be able to unstake until you receive the uh, ontology coins back whereas with phantasma is just 24 hours so it's not so bad right if you want to unstake however you do lose your soul master status you don't get the rewards from the soul master if you don't wait one entire month so there are some downsides some drawbacks to that of course but it makes sense because the whole point of being a soul master is if you're um how can i say if you're um if you're deciding to wait, if you're deciding to be a real customer for Phantasma, right? If you really want to support the project and uh, basically by being by being like that, by actually contributing to the project, they are paying you with soul, right? So this is the whole purpose of the Soul Master, really. And not only that, but there are more advantages. But this is this is kind of one way to look at it, right? It's like if you want to support the project, to be able to take part in voting and other sort of stuff. Um, you need to be a soul master, right? This is pretty much how it is. But of course, you're not limited. Like you've seen here, I've just staked two souls, so you're not limited. And uh, actually what I'm curious about, now I'm not sure, maybe Vincent can confirm this, and I'm sure he probably will, is uh, if the transaction on staking happens automatically after 24 hours because I've generated a transaction trying to unstake, or not because it was rejected. And I assume that is because it was rejected, it doesn't stay in pending status. So it never actually retries it, right? Because that would mean it would go heavy on the blockchain. This is my assumption. So I think you need to try this again after 24 hours since the last stake. So I need to wait 24 hours basically tomorrow at this time to be able to unstake. But yes, that's that about uh, the Phantom Wallet. So no more than that. Let me know what you think. Uh, what's your opinion on it? Uh, are you a soul master and are you staking soul? And if yes, why? Why did you decide to do that? Uh, have you not unstaked any soul and why did you not decide to stake so let me know whatever your opinion is I'm curious in the comments below that's it from today's demo thank you very much for watching I much appreciate it don't forget to like if you enjoyed it and I'll see you in my next video take care bye bye